Hey everybody, welcome back to Chatters DIY. Today we're going to be making a set of four drawers for my loft conversion. And uh, similarly to that scene in Bruce Almighty, where God says that he's got a, uh, a file that he keeps on Bruce, and Bruce sort of laughs and points at the little filing cabinet, and he pulls it open and it opens and opens and opens. Um, Last entry was a little disturbing. The drawers that I'm going to be making are going to be set into a, a sort of a hollow in the wall that I've, I've kept especially for it. And so they'll look flat and flush to the wall, but when you open them up, they'll be quite deep. They're about, they should be two foot deep. Um, so they'll be a lot bigger than what uh, ex what you expect. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube for how to make drawers, and uh, I have I, it's not the first time I've made them, but uh, this is the first time I've bothered to put mine on there because obviously there is a lot already out there. But this is how I do it. So uh, hope you enjoy. So as with most jobs to do with plywood, first one first job is to uh, rip it down to some sort of manageable size obviously lumping this 8x4 sheet around in a small garage is really impractical or near impossible so I'm just going to rip it down to rough lengths uh, and widths so that I can get it in and put it on the table saw I'm just going to use my straight edge which is my spirit level a couple of clamps to hold it in place and then I can run some nice straight lines through with the circular so the next job is to take the lengths that I've just ripped down from the full sized piece of ply, put them onto the table saw with the cross cut sled, rip them down then to, or cross cut them to the lengths that I want. So these are going to be the sides. Once I've cut them all to length, I'll then rip them down lengthways to their, um, their correct height. So the, uh, the way that I build the drawers, the front is going to be set on the inside of the two side pieces so the width of the drawer is going to be the two side panels plus the runners that are going to be attached to the sides and then the uh, the width then for the front panel will be whatever's left over and I don't know whether I've ever shown anyone uh, in my videos before this feature but um, on my crosscut sled obviously there's the blade come across I've got a, a tightening nut there and I can actually slide out and turn that so that becomes a, a stop block for cutting repeated lengths so I'm just going to set that there now I'm going to tighten this off so that it doesn't move anywhere and uh, this is going to be my first test piece for the width and uh, if it fits, I can then cut them all at exactly the same size. If it needs to be ever so slightly smaller, and I'll come back, make the trim, adjust this, and it, and then until it gets right. And once it's right, I can leave the stop block where it is, and do the repeated eight cuts, all exactly the same. So this is the opening I've got for the drawers. Obviously, I'm building my drawers into the wall. Um, and so to work out the exact length or, uh, that I need the front face to be or the width I've got the two side panels the two sets of runners I'll we'll just hold them up against the side there and then I've got my first attempt at cutting the width and it should just fit between these runners and between the other side of the drawers Okay, so that's up against there. And then, oh, that's just snuck in. That's just snuck in. That's a little bit, a little bit, oh, is it a little bit tight? Or I think it's either absolutely perfect first time, or it just needs a, a slither, like half a mil or a mil. I think I might just take a mill off just to give it a little breathing room. So 
So as I said, I'll just come back now. I don't know whether I can show that. I'll just take off that little half a blade width. Hold this down now and I'll slacken the nut off. Just pull that in. Tighten the nut back up. Give it a, give it a second try. Right, attempt number two. Look at that perfect. Up right there. Tiniest amount of breathing room. Perfect. Right, so I've got six sides cut up to length. Uh, there's two more upstairs, so I've got the full eight for the four drawers. This is the piece that I've just been measuring and uh, is now the exact length to within about half a millimetre. I've got a piece over here and three more here to cut up. That'll make another seven, so I'll have the eight fronts and backs and all the sides. So I'm far less confident of a perfectly clean cut using the circular saw compared to the table saw. So I cut these about 10 mil heavy on the uh, on the on the on the width as we look at it. Or it will be the height of the draw. So now I've switched from the cross cut sled to the rip fence, and I'm just going to rip these down to the uh, 180 mil final height. So now I've got my eight front and backs and my eight sides. I'm now going to use a scrap piece of ply from what we've just been cutting. Same thickness and everything. I'm just going to make sure that when I cut out this groove now, similar to that, so that the um, the bottom piece, which will be the quarter inch ply, can slide in. Uh, but I've got to make sure that it's the right depth. Uh, obviously, I don't want to cut too far through the thickness of the ply so I can now see but the, uh, the camera is not going to be clear enough but using uh, a steel rule I can now um, tell that that is now exactly five mil deep which is um, all I'm really after so obviously it's nowhere near thick enough to accept um, so I'm gonna have to do another one right along the edge of it to make the uh, make the groove thicker so all of these sides now have been uh, had the wider groove cut into them, ready for accepting the the bottom of the drawer. These four are going to be the fronts, and they have had the exact same. These ones um, have had the the one cut put into them. So that's the front panel. It's upside down now, so the groove is at the top. But that's the groove where the uh, bottom panel is going to slide into down these two sides and you'll see that they're all in line with each other and then this is going to be the back panel as i said it's upside down and this is going to sit just above the groove so when that bottom uh, panel slides in it'll come up to the edge of here and we'll be able to screw it down into the bottom of the back panel so the four drawers are now put together uh, around the sides. I just need to now cut out these, uh, cut that quarter inch plywood to slide in and make the back, uh, the bottom panel. So I've trimmed down the panel. Uh, the width was exactly as I said, eight mil increase on the uh, the width of the back panel, and it's just given it enough rigidity I just need a bit of a push but nothing major and there you go all done I've just got to go and attach the runners now there's the screws in the bottom panel into the rear panel obviously they're gonna get a nice sanding down on the edge and I'll probably give them a coat oh, I'll give them a coat of uh, 
a clear varnish or a polyurethane kind of water based polyurethane finish. There we go, all done, put together, bottoms are glued in and screwed in from underneath into that back panel there. Nice and uh, nice and secure, really rigid, obviously made out of three quarter inch plywood, they're pretty robust, better than the ones that you get from flat pack furniture and things like that, so uh, I've just got to attach the runners now and I won't be putting the uh, the fronts on straight away. These will just be used uh, temporarily while I'm carrying on with the loft. I'll put some of the tools in there and that. If they get knocked about on the front, it doesn't really matter because obviously the draw front is going to be attached to there anyway. So everything or anything that does happen will be uh, hidden. Um, when I do finish the insides of these, I'll just give them a, a quick coat of uh, polyurethane. There you go then. That's how they look. They come straight out of the wall, just like I had planned, Bruce Almighty style. Um, putting the uh, putting the drawers and attaching the raft, uh, the runners and that was really simple. They just screw on this little um, toggle lever uh, thing there that you just pull that down and it unclips that part of the runner from this part. So you attach this section to the inside, in this particular case, the inside of the, the wall, but normally obviously to the inside of whatever unit you've got. <clears throat> Make sure that you, we already know that the drawer was the right width. So you just attach this part to the to the drawer and hey presto, it just slides in. Um, the only thing to try and sort out is the height of them. So that, and, uh, and make sure that they're obviously like level so that they're not coming open when you don't want them to. Obviously, <clears throat> I haven't attached the drawer fronts yet. This is just the plywood box drawers. But there will be kind of a matching kind of a wood to this new post um, and to what I've done uh, for the rest of the, the loft. So what's on the on the ceiling and what's on what will be the wardrobe doors? I'm going to be a matching timber front for each one of them. Let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully that was a little bit informative. That's there's lots of ways of how to make drawers, but that's how I do it. And if you did like it and you're not already a, a subscriber, then hit that like button, click the bell, and subscribe to my channel and. Be ready for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.